Are we rolling? Because I got a, I got something to say. Hey, let's go. <laughs> you already know. You already know. And this is you already know. We're back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what up, dog? What up, 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 you know what I'm saying? I need me a nice Italian woman. Like That's nice, what it is. Yeah, straight or up, Cuban. Like, yes. Oh, yo, bro. Yo, yo. Yo. All right, bro. First of all, I got a date with a girl from Italy this, this weekend. She's from uh-huh. Italy, but she's uh-huh. been here for five years. So okay. she's all to all this uh, American men around a handle Italian woman. I'm like, bitch, I'm about to okay. show you how it's going to go down. Not respectfully. <laughs> respectfully uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I got wife beaters on deck. I got you know eight shirts on deck. We you ready? Know what I'm saying? Pitch the cheek. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, cheek. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I did one of these like in an emoji. She goes, you know, this means what the fuck in Italian, right? I was like, oh, right. the whole time I thought it was like a chef's kiss. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, I learned something new every day. Thank you. Exactly. That's why you got to hang out with everybody. Second, I was talking to my trainers yesterday and he was in, in Puerto Rico and he was like, Puerto Rican women, like they age different than Dominican women, like how like like positively, <laughs> like he's like J-Lo doesn't exist in the Dominican community. I was just like, okay, true. hilarious. <laughs> Cause his wife's Puerto Rican. And I was like, the most slept on community are those Miami Cubans that are blonde and blue eyed, but they're straight Cuban and they had salsa and can make a rose con pollo. You like the blonde, blue eyed look. It, it, you know what you know what it is? It's like the best of all worlds. Yeah, that's how shape, I told them. I blonde, get everything. Blue get eyes. Everything. Yeah, she could tan uh-huh. well. She got culture. She could dance. Uh-huh. She speaks another language. She might slap me upside my head. Like that's you all day. That's, that's you all day. <laughs> that's that's me, dogs. That's me. Oh. Yeah, that's my. You need to move to Miami. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, Miami culture is bad for me. Like, a the culture is it's just party. That's all these people do is parties in suntan. You know what I yes. mean? Yes, seems and like then, it. yes. Yeah, basically, and then B. Low key Miami girl accents are annoying. <laughs> you know what, what I'm talking you, about. <laughs> but no, I don't. What I, you mean? They'd be like, yo, eh, you know, eh, you know, I don't know, bro. You know, he's funny. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. like it's like it's not Spanish, but it's not surfer. It's like this uh-huh. weird in between. And you're uh-huh. like, hmm. You don't like that there. Yeah. <laughs> Can you speak in Spanish now, please? <laughs> right. Please just speak in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. we have to, we have to, go ahead. We have to. Oh, my bad. No, nah, I'm saying it's either that or like stripper talk. Seems like there's a lot of like strip club culture down there, too. Basically, so everybody basically. just speaks very hood, even if they aren't necessarily black. Hey, money, money speaks, money, money talks. Yeah. And the way you get it, I guess. And when it falls on you, it talks for you. There you go. Um, <laughs> somber shout out, RIP Dean Stockwell. Yeah, man. Quantum Leap. Beverly Hills Cop 2. Yeah, Dean Stockwell. Yeah. Married to the mob. Yeah, married to the mob. He was in everything. He did He did a lot of good work. Seven decade career. <laughs> Seven decades he acted. That's amazing. Before. Since he was That's 15 amazing. years old, he was an actor. That's amazing. That's amazing. Sounding like me. Yup. Yep, seven decade career, seven decade career. Hopefully yeah, for you, him. though, you only do what you want to do, baby. He probably only right. did what he wanted to do anyway, because he's Dean motherfucking Stockwell, okay? Yeah, I mean, he wanted to be an actor, you know yes. what I'm saying? So that's what he wanted. He got to fulfill that. I'm glad. Yes, yes. yes. So rest in peace to him. Uh, condolences to his family and fans. Uh, mm-hmm. You already know rec- You already knows with him, not you already know records, because we didn't sign him, but you already knows with him. No doubt. Okay, let's just get into the shits, bro. Will Smith's really out here, bro. They both are. They, uh, they both are just just out here telling us what we don't necessarily need to want and even really need to hear. Like, yo, why do y'all feel like y'all need to air this out for us? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you don't. TMI. T-M-I. Way too much. Way too much. <laughs> Who's asking these questions? Who, Will, what that got to do with the, the Williams sisters movie? <laughs> Why you ain't promoting that? <laughs> is this all let that backswing? You know, just gonna let that just go to streaming and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And just pay everybody out your own pocket and that's the good story and, you know, not blow up Venus and Serena. Like, what's up with that? 
That's like Tom Cruise doing the new Mission Impossible and is like, yo, bro, I was a gay dude in Scientology my whole life. And you're like, what? <laughs> How am okay. I to- yeah, what that got to do with Mission Impossible? <laughs> what the Nothing. fuck? Yeah. What are you talking uh, it's, about? It's weird to say the least. You know what I'm saying? Because now he's putting out a tell-all book. She probably going to follow up. Already out. You know what I mean? Yeah. She probably going to follow suit and do her own in due time. And uh, it's right. It's got to be rough on the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of your parents' business out there being constantly talked about everywhere you turn. Something tells me they're so transparent in their communication, damn near, that they definitely talked to the children before. They were like, we're going to put all this shit on blast. Are you okay with this? How do you feel? Like, I they always feel like one of those families. You know what I mean? They feel like that, but you never really know. You know what I'm saying? You never really know how a motherfucker really want to deal with everywhere they go. You People know, that know subject might come up. You know what I mean? I don't know. You could just tell when you're getting stared at a little extra. I don't need to know about, you know, Will Smith and Jada's sex life. You know, like what it really is doing is Jada's is really fucking her shit up and in, in everyone in, in my in my eyes and, and from what I can see publicly. Right. Because mm-hmm. she thought at first Red Table Talk was like a place for safe place for women to get together and have honest discourse like a barbershop. And what right. happens is she became she wound up airing too much of her uh, her dirty laundry to the point that her dirty laundry was with the dude that everyone loves and endears. And it wasn't dirty laundry like, oh, he smacked me upside my head, girl. It was like, oh, no, Will gave me the most amazing 40th birthday the world's ever seen. And it was all ego, all ego. How dare you take me and my family here and make a documentary? Documentary about my family not a slavery and do this and do that and make me thanking my most famous artist that I love. Oh, how dare you? I canceled this. She canceled the birthday on the first night. Yo, bro. Bro, Will Will's a saint, bro. Will's a saint, bro. Will's a saint, bro. That's how yeah, man. that's how you get UFC choked out. That's I don't how even you mess with women. That's <laughs> how you get women. sainthood. He got he got knighted. Yeah, that's I don't yeah. I don't know, man. Like what can you do? You know, like that's not how you receive a gift. If you don't, if you don't like the gift, that's not how you receive it. You don't just cancel shit just for the sake of, I have the power to cancel shit. If it's embarrassing you, whatever, it's a gesture, man. Look, look at it a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't look at it as, Oh, you putting me on blast or this is, you know, showcasing me in a way that makes me uncomfortable whatever you know what i'm saying like showcasing to who it's all just y'all you know what i'm saying it's just a birthday party for you it's not like it's being broadcast to the world so she's different you know what i'm saying like she always has been that that was probably part of the attraction you know and uh now it's just like all right all that different shit is just starting to just check off in the in the nuisance column more so than anything you know what i mean like now you're just starting to be annoying you know i'm gonna say this at the risk i'm gonna say this at the risk of like any future business i might have in this town but it 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 needs to be said honestly (laughs) will smith is such a good dude he's the example of what people say is simp is yeah, no all doubt. The, all the signals are telling you, yo, she's she is not appreciative. This, that, that, I don't even know. I don't know if he hit her. I don't know if he cheated on her. I mean, he probably did. They cheated together. They said the open marriage, whatever. But I know when you just keep bringing flowers to a girl after a couple of dates and you ain't getting no kiss, it's a rat for you. You get what I'm saying? So you out here doing things that women can only dream of and you're doing them for your wife of 20 years, actually 15 years, you're still out here and you're a top 0.001% male on earth. On earth. On earth. The <laughs> nicest guy. Like, I'm sure you're a human being, your shit stinks, but let's get realistic. Like, where is she really going from here? And you're still competing against perceptions and the ghost of a friend that was never really a lover. Like, Man, man, fuck that shit, bro. I couldn't be handcuffed yeah. to that. I'll be like, yo, kids, bro. I, that's why I gotta choose me. That's why I gotta choose me. Like when he's like, I gotta choose my happiness. I'm like, but you're still there, bro. You still getting abused. I don't know if he is. You know what I mean? Like we don't know their business. Like he might have gone and bought a crib and all that shit. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, it might be part of his personal struggle to be like, well, you know, I've already been divorced once, so I should see this through or something like that. I don't know. 
You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't know. We, we know a lot about it, but we don't know enough about them, the person and why they're making such decisions and why she doesn't feel fulfilled from him. You know, all we're getting is the facts that, you know, yeah, they used to bone all the time or whatever. And he tried to please her and apparently she's not pleased. Yeah. Like, but we don't, said- we don't have the why we just have the, 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 the details. I'm like, I, those are the details we want. We want to know what you, the person is not seeing in him, the person, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we want to know. Especially men, you know, like every couple on earth, because everyone has marital issues, but like there's certain people that you like, you think like at least have it semi figured out. And Will Smith is one of those people that you think has it semi figured out. And you're like, if he can't do it for you, what the fuck can I do for someone? Like, holy shit. Like he done did everything. Like what else he done did, did do? everything. He didn't do that. He bought the crib way out there that she hates. It's too big. It's too far. It's just that and the other. But he just was living his life with her in tow. And she didn't necessarily want to be in tow. I mean, in her mind, it should have been neck and neck. You know what I'm saying? But then again, do women respect the man that wants to give them the neck and neck treatment? You know what I mean? They always want to go for the bad guy. They do want to be led around. They, you know what I mean? You know, it's all that conundrum shit. So Jada out here sounding like Scotty Pippen right now. How about your man, Scotty? <laughs> she got his guy bugging, like yo. Scotty Pippen, bro. Yeah. I'm as good as Mike. I could have got the titles. Man, like, what? no, you have athletic ability, yes. But as far as dead eye shooting, no, come on now, Scotty. You know that. You know better than that. Yeah, you wasn't the heart of a killer. You wasn't willing to sacrifice baby goats to get that win. Michael come Jordan would have drowned the whole goat farm to get the win. Yeah, it's all about the W for that guy. You know no what I'm compromise. Saying? Yeah, you know, no compromise. And I knew go back to Will Smith and we'll end it here. I knew it was bad for Will when I read the, the thing from the article recently that said he went, he never smoked, he never really smoked, did drugs, never smoked really anything. And he said he went and tripped on ayahuasca 14 times just to yeah. get to the root of it. 14 said, oh, times. Shit. I'm like, yo, my man, what are you, what are you fishing for? That's another thing. Like, what? What exactly are you battling that, that makes you need to ayahuasca it up that many times? You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it for like Chris Rocks and, and Neil Brennan's. You know what I'm saying? Like, Chris has been through real trauma. You know what I mean? He was like the last generation to really go through a segregated school, you know, uh, era, basically. You know what I mean? And all that comes with that, basically. So, yeah, he grew up damn near with... <laughs> you know, separate water fountains, you know what I mean? That's an extreme, but it was definitely a segregated school system he grew up in, you know what I mean? So that's trauma right there. He's got that last real racial chip on his shoulder trauma and needed that ayahuasca to release that off of him or identify that, you know what I mean? And blah, 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 and help him work through that finally or whatever. So he's working through it. He's got issues and shit. And Neil, you know, he talks about his depression and shit like that. So I understand it about those guys. But you don't hear a lot of depression talk out of Will. Jada's recently admitted to her depression, but you don't hear it out of Will. You don't see it out of Will. You know what I mean? It's like you see him and it's like, what does he have to be depressed about? But at the same time, we don't know his whole life. We don't know everything before the Fresh Prince. We don't know everything that's been going on in front of our in front of the camera type stuff behind the camera. You know what I mean? When he goes home and whatever. So, yep. No, it, yeah, it I mean, sounds like, you know, they working out some, yeah, human issues, demons, whatever. Just I hope they are able to just shake it off and move forward and be honest with each other. And, you know, just if it needs to be a friendship, then let it be a friendship and move forward. But there's no need to waste each other's time. They're doing it publicly. That's the only part I have an issue with. I got no problem yeah. with you having issues. I got a problem with you cheating. Do whatever what you do. You're humans. It's your relationship. Just don't air it out there. You get what I mean? Like, just keep that shit tight. No one ever keeps shit tight no more. Like, no one even knows yeah. about keeping shit tight. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Let's move on to uh, more happier, but also depressing news. All right. First, it's Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Now it's this, bro. That's, that's depressing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul Rudd is People Magazine's sexiest man alive, bro. Come on, man. That, come on. That should give you hope. That means we can all do it. It's about it's about charm. It's about charisma and never aging. Paul Rudd does not age. He doesn't age. You're right about that. But does, yeah. is, does that really mean I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm it could. Bro. It's like every day is upside down day, bro. It's like you're working hard. Well, I mean, all right, I get what you're saying. Like, become a high value man and then actually be funny. And you don't need like a six pack and to jump out of windows or win the football to get the big girl, be the sexiest man. I see the last time you seen Paul Rudd with his shirt off. You don't never see Paul Rudd with his shirt off. (laughs) You don't need that. We see Peter. He's an upstanding man. He's a father. He's a husband. He's a great actor. He's a friend in the community, in the artist community. Yes. You know, he's he's a people's man. That yes. that's the sexiness. Yes. Yes. Just like your girl Kim Kardashian. They figuring out what's so sexy about Pete. You know what I mean? They got Emily Ratajkowski doing interviews about that shit. Like, why do women find Pete so attractive? And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wow, man. I mean, I guess it does give me hope, right? I just gotta like step my life up and you know be close to your mom. Get some hype, get some boots with some hype. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Be close to your mom. Be successful. How like close? Like live in my mom's house. Days. I gotta move back home. No, but she should have a positive presence in your life. Like whether it's FaceTiming or whatever, that kind of shit. So they want to the, hear about that. With the bitches, I FaceTime my mom. Like, hey, mom, yeah. And then they go. Oh, Not necessarily with, with the bitches, but women? the <laughs> women that you would like in your life to go. You know, to see you as someone to build something with, basically. Those women. So every time a girl comes in, I'm gonna be on FaceTime with my mom. I'm gonna be front, like I'm having a great conversation. Oh, this company just came up. I love you, smooches, smooches, mom. <laughs> I mean, if you're around a famous lady that you might want to get with or whatever, that might be a look that she just like happens to look over at the party and sees you on FaceTime laughing with your mom, like, oh, who's that guy? Right, blah, 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 blah. Like, wait, well, that's tiny. He's on, you know, fucking gradients and he just went to Australia and looking for blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he turned down 20 dimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should go talk to him. Blah. That's just how that, that's how it goes. Nice to meet you, Doja Cat. Nice to meet you. You know what I'm saying? I like your work. Yes. Oh, thank you. You want to get out of here? That's all you got to say. Exactly, exactly. Well, um, <laughs> this person surmised kind of what I was feeling about Paul Rudd. So here you go. Uh, out of all the <laughs> Avengers, they said Ant Man the baddest. So they have all the <laughs> Avengers up there Thor, Black Panther, Tony Stark, <laughs> Captain America, <laughs> Doctor Strange is just fucking Ant Man. He's the fucking Ant Man the, the sexiest. baddest. Yeah, sorry, man. All right. Man. It's moving on, moving on, moving on. Um, it is opposites week, though. It's like the NFL was opposites week, like a motherfucker this week. Yeah, we're going to get to that. We're definitely going to get to that. So um, meanwhile, let me show you something, Keenan. I ran across a video and it made me think this would be me and Trader Joe's girl. Remember her? Trader Joe's girl. Yeah. So I found her. I'm still looking for you, boo. If we were from the Bronx and we like to show you. I think this, 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 this is a good, uh, a good, good uh, metaphor or uh, example of how we would be living out here. Mm. So uh, let's let, let's see what we see here. Yo, on some real ish, something was telling me I was gonna find my queen today. But I ain't know it'll be an hour seven. <laughs> you dropped this. I know you're gonna need this for me. Nah. Word to my mother? <laughs> Are you flirting with me right now? Like you could have dead ass just left the can on the floor, but you picked it up and you spoke. And this is why I gotta find out who are you? <laughs> Damn, all right, let me stand act like I'm waiting for a bus on a street that has no bus stop. You following? <laughs> following you. Are you bugging or something? Like, in my mind, we're already together. Look at us. We perfect. Did you choke my model like a stoker to you? All right, but I just saw you in the store. <laughs> behind me. And I'm walking. I'm walking home. Like, what are you choking about? Keep moving, man. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, but why are you arguing with me like we're already together? You can show me <laughs> pain. No relationship is perfect, but we will get better. That's me, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here. That's my dog too, man. Dude is funny. I fucks with Mr. Commodore, bro. Yeah, man, that's my dude. He's funny as shit. (laughs) Shout out to Mr. Commodore. I was like, that's me, Troy Joe's girl right there, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Hilarious. Why are you following me? I wasn't following you. I'm walking home. Right, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead with that. Oh, fucking girl. You know what, I'm what you talking about? Waiting on the bus. What you talking about? Talking about. <laughs> so anyway, what's uh, your number, girl? We got IG. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Moving on to speaking about women. 
so my barber, who I swear needs a podcast. I think we have to give this guy a podcast because he's hilarious. All and barbers. He, he all he owned, but he only has like celebrity clients. So it could be yeah. a good one right there. It could be the real barber shop. We'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. So my barber was talking about, he goes, ain't none worse than women selling pussy for minimum wage. <laughs> Why? What does that mean? <laughs> Meaning, like you fucking with the dude, and you're only fucking with him because he's giving you something, but he only giving you the bare minimum. Like you ain't get really nothing. Like you right. really get nail money. <laughs> like right. you get minimum wage to fuck with this dude. And then I was like, I countered though, and I was like, No, there is something worse than that, and that's a dude giving dick for minimum wage. And he was mm-hmm. like, Where do they do that at? And I was like, Bro, go to any mall in America. You're gonna see a skinny black guy and a that white woman, he's going to be having bags for Foot Locker, GameStop, all that shit. And she sugar mama the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, you're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> you see it. It's out there. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. And they're yeah. paying for the women are paying for everything. And this dude slinging pops for slinging dick for Popeyes and PS4s. Not even a PS5. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not to stereotype, but, you know, just came home. You know, this lady want to take care of me. Or might have just been home my whole life and I finally found a woman that wants to take care of me to hit my mama. <laughs> right. Any of that. <laughs> and yeah, it happens. <laughs> Straight yeah. up. Because at that point, you're classified as a hobo sexual. Hobo, hobo. sexual. Yeah, you're sleeping for, for homes at that yeah. point. You're hobo sexual. To live somewhere. You're a hobo sexual. Yeah. Surreal. That's amazing. I was watching that. The Way Down documentary. You see that? What's that? It's some crazy shit about this church in Tennessee, but Chrissy Teigen produced it. You got to watch it. It's about this lady who started this church, but it started through uh, like some weight loss type ministry, you know what I'm saying? And then turned into some whole other shit, of course. And this one dude, her second husband was like a hobosexual, basically. Yo, it's a real thing. Dude's out here slinging dick for a crib. Straight up. You know what I mean? Don't... Come on, bro. Don't act like you don't know someone that you knew someone that did that. Might even know someone that still does that. Might be, you know what I'm I mean, you see it on display. I mean, you know, you try not to judge it, but you see it on display. You, know you see it. It's not, a, it's a two way street, ladies. Not all women are gold diggers. Some men are home diggers. Just know that. Exactly. I'm a digging home digger. Out, <laughs> digging out for a home. Yo, where you live, girl? You, yo, you, let me get, when, I, when you go to work, can I drop you off and then I'll take the, I can take the car for the day? Come on now, all of that. I'll be back here to pick you up on time. Up. I'll be here on time. I'll come to lunch, pick you up. We you go, we go to lunch, and I'm gonna drop you back, and then I'll be back right. out, and I'll pick and you up. And then I'll be back, and I'm gonna pick you up at five. I'll yeah. be here. Yeah, that's all it. day, straight up every day. All that's day, all you gotta bro. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's the whole that. America. You can't do that. Do that. Man. <laughs> do that. <laughs> do that. You ain't got no more options except for to be in the streets, man. Just do that. Just find you a lady who got a good job and be 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 by her side. <laughs> Moving on. Um, speaking of uh, making some money. Apparently, fake shit pays, Keenan. Peter Jackson announced his weighted digital has been sold for $1.625 billion American to the makers of Unity Game Engine. VFX House is responsible for the Oscar winning effects behind Lord of the Rings and Avatar and is currently working on the Avatar sequel, says the Hollywood Reporter. Damn. It's big fucking checks rolling out. More big acquisitions ever. going on. The world's changing, Keenan. The world's changing in front of you, and everyone's just like, just yeah. watching. Like changing into what? It's changing from, ready? It's changing from in real life, must meet. First thing that happened was globalization. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Waters from Fiji, Keenan. Mm-hmm. It's not from fucking the mountain down the block. It's from an island halfway across the world. Globalization. So they say, so they say yeah, 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 it could be bad. Yeah, yeah. It's from Jim, New Jersey. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. If it is New Jersey, they got a clash action lawsuit coming from from us and and Barnes or Salino, Salino, because he cut Salino because Barnes, Barnes sounds black. Bar- Barnes passed away. Yeah, he's, and he sounds black, so he was like, "I big want to get rid of that name, <laughs> soft N word." It's Salino yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. <I'd be> Barnes. <laughs> Man, we gotta get some soft N word shirts made. Yeah, <laughs> that's the next merch coming up, bro. Straight up. <laughs> 
Because it's like a multiple entendre. Like, what do you mean? Word. Word? What does that mean? Like, yeah. like, what does that exactly mean? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> you mean the soft version of saying? What? No. <laughs> is the dude just, soft? He's yeah, like, <laughs> the dude is soft. <laughs> Give me anything. Man. Take your uh, pick. Just don't fucking say right. it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, when once, once COVID hit, we were already living our lives online. You'll spend most of your time on 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 watching movies online. Your kids are online. You're on social media. It's connected. Your friends all the way on in Iceland. You be talking to him every day like he's across the street. So once COVID happened and accelerated Zoom meetings, mm. me and you probably wouldn't have thought to do a podcast mm. on Skype before the COVID. We'd have been like, nah, we just gotta be there. It just wasn't a thing. Now it's like we avoided Zoom, hoping being ignorant, like, yo, no, it's gonna come back. We're gonna be good. We're gonna just be in person. Fuck this shit. Wrong. Wrong. Here we are. Wrong. <laughs> this is not yeah. going away. No. This isn't going away. So you can be anywhere and we can do this. So fast forward, you're talking about living in this. Now I can make my money through this. I can order my groceries through this. I can meet my friends through this. I can be who I want through this, through the metaverse at large. That's why the metaverse is being doubled down on tokens, coins, because coins are going to be the economics of the metaverse, which are then backed by U.S. dollars. You get what I mean? So extrapolate that to content. So if everything's in the metaverse, everything is to be streamed. Number one complaint about Netflix. There's nothing there. What you, there's everything in their grandmother on Netflix. It's just you've seen it all, which means Netflix has a conundrum. They need to get more and more. You seen the text I sent you yesterday about Disney. Disney is lost money this year, lost shitloads, lost subscribers, lost subs subscriber growth slowed down because they don't have enough fucking content to offer. People are like, yo, bro, you don't got enough for me to be sticking here, bro. I need more. So now Disney's spending more on content, but they can't just, they can't make Marvel movies in a snap, in a blink of a snap or a Star Wars in a blink. It takes time to develop those things. So now they're like, what are we going to do? And then they're going to start buying content. They need to catch up to Netflix, Hulu, everyone else outsourcing content, right? So then you look at companies like, as I said, the VFX company later. If I'm a, if I own if I own something that has to do anything with the metaverse or gaming, that's the number one VFX company in the world. I buy them and I can instantly do high level graphics for anything future facing. And I get their pipeline of movies and all that good stuff. People are doubling down on technology and IP and platforms like you've never seen. And if you know how to make technology, especially in Web 3.0, if you know how to do games that, that can incentivize people to make money through the gaming and on 3.0, or if you can create content for these platforms that Netflix is going to spend 20 billion next year, bro. Let's get serious. So they, if you can fit in those categories, oh, it's a wrap, bro. It's up. That's why we spent all that money, 900 million for yeah. three shows she don't own. Right. That she don't own. $8 million carry fee she gets from them from them shows. So let's say four of them. Let's say they want some Emmys. Cool. Uh, the most she could have made for her company was like 32 to $40 million. And she was valued at, <laughs> at like 25 times that. Yeah. We in line. Oh, no, 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 no. Straight up, like, like it, greedy level. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in line. I, I see the front. My number's right here. I see the name, the number mm -hmm. on the thing. Right. I'm holding like. Right. Hello. <laughs> Calling 63, that's just a 65 on it like this. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn, hurry up, 63. <laughs> and this shit don't close for another five hours. We're right. gonna get here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get here. Uh, oh, 64? Okay, 64? cool, cool. Thank that's you. Cool. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. you. Appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate so, you. That's what's happening, Keenan, bro. It's it, yeah. it's a great time to make content. Whereas when you started, you just had to hope that someone would put you in something that they own that was owned by the system and the man. Thousand percent. That was the system. Not the system anymore. You can make I was gonna send you an article yesterday. Uh, an article came out because um Audible announced that they picked up six comedy podcasts, right? But they're mm -hmm. all scripted podcasts. And the big commonality between these were these were projects done by people with, with decent names, but they were all projects that people were like, yo, bro, like I wanted to do this, but I didn't know if I could really, it wasn't really worth a TV show. I wasn't going to get the money, but I could just do it as a podcast. And they got a podcast deal and so and so and Will Armerson's voicing this and that one and Forte is doing this. I'm like, see, 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 you know just what like I mean? That. Yep. It, it, the world's changing before your eyes, folks. You need to figure out how you're going to get adjusted and get into it. Thousand percent. 
Speaking of a first person who figured out how to get adjusted and into the fucking world, your boy Elon Musk got some liquid now. According to the Wall Street Journal, Elon Musk sold about $5 billion in Tesla shares this week as he exercised stock options he received as part of his compensation package, according to mm. regulatory filings. Parking in. He got $15 billion. He's a $15 billion tax bill, uh, bill though. So he's, you know, he needs to figure out how to pay that. He has a $15 billion tax bill? Yeah. He has he has minimal liquid in a fifteen billion dollar tax. You can't just keep getting shitloads of stock in tranches and be worth three hundred billion. Uncle Sam is not going to be like, right. So in his personal pocket, <laughs> yeah. So they were like, so yo, you owe fifteen billion off. coming up. Yeah. So he he's got to like, scrape yo. off. Yeah. So his whole thing was he did a Twitter poll like, yo, I need to. I got. Is that how they not let people monopolize? Basically. Mm-hmm. No, that's not how they know. They they don't just break you up. They're just taxing, basically. Yeah, they're just taxing. Just they're just taxing. They're like they don't want their peace. You, you cool? You making money here? You safe here? Someone you kidnaps safe? you? We're gonna you hold you down? It's like the mafia. Yeah, it's just you like safe the mafia. here. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. What about our dairy farmers? As they said, American gangster. Right. We'll give you peace of mind, Frank. That's the, the dairy government. Dairy farmers. Yeah. That's Straight the government. Up. So. He has the 300 billion in writing, but his liquid's minimal. So he went on Twitter and was like, yo, are you guys down if I sold 10% of my stock? Like, just ask the people. He's also ask the people shit. And everyone was like, yeah, sell 10% of your stock, make your money. 30 billion. That pays half the tax. Even with, even with the tax on the 30 billion, he will still have like 5 billion left over in just cash after he pays his taxes. So he's like, yo, boom. And this is the first move in selling and getting to the 30 billion to pay the taxes and have a couple billion in the pocket, you know, baby. You know, and if you're a out. guy on the spectrum, what does $5 billion do? What does that, what excites you? How do you spend $5 billion? When you, I, I, he doesn't seem like a sex addict. At least from nope. what I can see, right? He doesn't seem like a drug addict. Mm-hmm. At least from what I can see, he's already the world's richest man. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, let's look at this guy's trajectory. I, 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 I like Elon Musk. I'm not a huge fan of him, but I respect him enough to understand where, where he comes from. So the guys on the spectrum from from South Africa and in, in a racist place in Pretoria. Too smart for his environment. Programmed his first video game like at 12, 13 years old. Made a little money on that. Found his way to America by like 20, in his 20s in college. Um, founded uh, X Pay or Pay X or something of that nature or X.com, and which was a pay system. His number one competitor, which was like in the same building or down the street, was, was a co- company called PayPal, founded by Peter Till, PT, Peter Till. They were both early on the payment in the internet space. They said, we're either going to take each other out because they thought one one more peter teal's employee floated about like sending a bomb to elon's office like they were right. really trying to compete so they finally merged created paypal elon was one of the runners of it they built that up to like sell for a billion something elon took 180 million dollars after taxes out of that 180 million you figure you hit your lick you're good for life that's basically the lick everyone wants to hit wrong he took the 180 million took 100 million and over time put that into tesla the other 80 million, another 70 million, let's say, or 75 went into SpaceX to the point where SpaceX is when Elon ran out of money, SpaceX had one test launch left. They couldn't get that launch right. He'd either have to like find a way to borrow money or it was over. He ran out of money for SpaceX. He they needed to prove that the rocket could just get into the air. And I think not even land, just get in the air and like go up and shit. And on the last test, it went up. And then that's how he got his grant from NASA for like a billion to extend his shit, to extend SpaceX. Meanwhile, Tesla, he just kept dropping money. He was just an investor in Tesla. He didn't found it. It's founded by two other guys in San Francisco. He invested in Tesla, gave them some money, and they kept plowing, doubling down, tripling down because he, he, he believed in it to the point where he's put 100 million. It was like, yo, I, I'm going to own this. I'm going to control it. It's, it's, I'm, too, I'm in too deep. Like, I got to make this happen. So now he has zero liquid. Zero. You got more money than him at that at that point, right? So he has to rely on the grace of his friends that have all become millionaires and billionaires. So he didn't have a house. So when he would come to San Francisco, he would have to ask Larry or Sergey, who were the owners of Google, who happens to be his colleagues, yo, can I sleep at your crib? Like he would call the assistant and the assistant would make room, like, like set up for him to sleep in the guest house or the guest bedroom. He would ask friends to like 
yo, can you send a plane for me? Like, I can't fly. I don't even have money for a ticket. Can you just send your plane? Like, can I fly on your plane with you? Like, he was basically living off his rich friends because he had nothing. And they were like, well, Elon's one of the smartest people we know. We hope he works. You know, even Google invested in Tesla. They invested in Tesla. Like, they tried to invest in him. But it wasn't going well. And then that Model S dropped and it got that, it blew the consumer report rating out. It got like a 55 out of 50 and it was a dub. And then like the young investing crowd of like 30 year old, 40 year olds who knew, you know, zero emissions is the future. And just but a guy setting rockets, who still wants to go to Mars. He has rockets. He has electric vehicles. This is the future. Fuck these older old guys. We got endless money. Let's put it into this guy. And here it goes. So his psychological profile of having $300 billion and now maybe having $5 billion in cash, what does that mean to him? Right. What's he get like? Well, he ain't going to buy a, a buy a boat. He might buy a boat, but if he buys a boat, it's to like make fun of buying boats and he'll buy the biggest boat anyone's ever seen. And right. does everything just to be like, this is how ridiculous having money is. I bought a boat that's a floating city. You're like, that's the, yeah. the furthest I can see him go. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. Dude, Meanwhile, mm -hmm. you can have a whole lot of fun if you just know how to have fun, that's why Joe Dodger dog over there hates rich people. You know what I'm saying? They following Terrence J home. You know what I mean? Like that's the conundrum. <laughs> yup. Yup. <laughs> rich people don't know how to be down. Like if you rich, in my opinion, the rich people should own the respect of Los Angeles. Like everybody that has a dope ass crib, should own the respect of everybody. They should put the money in the community where everybody's good. You know what I'm saying? Like not everybody knows that not everybody's going to have the same everything. But when it comes down to like starving or not, you know what I mean? It's like, yo, why does it have to be such extremes 10 miles apart from each other? Less crazy. Than 10, around the corner, down the block. You know what I mean? Down crazy. the hill. Down they follow the hill. Terrence J home. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's getting, it's getting <laughs> wild out follow there. Terrence J home? Terrence J almost got killed basically what? in a fucking home robbery. They home following invasion? people home. They following oh, people yeah, home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was part of one of those. And he was they close. They like pulled in behind him in like some SUVs or some shit and tried to block him in, but he was able to pull off or whatever. Wow. And it almost went bad for him. Yeah. So they did that to the guy who was staying at the Fashion Nova house. You heard about that? No. Pardon me. He's a I told you all that I'm yes, a <laughs> bastard. Um, the dude who owns Fashion Nova is a rich dude, and he mm -hmm. leases out his house in the Hollywood Hills, and it's known for being like a, a party house that you can lease, you know, for by the day, by the month, etc. So some other some balling dudes leased it. Now balling dudes in LA like to lease baller cars. They like to go to baller restaurants, boa, you know, il pasteo. They want to be seen in all the spots. The thing is, these do these dudes south of the tent be, be knowing that's where you you like to go. So they'll mm -hmm. post up down the block of boa, look at kind of the car you pull in, look to see kind of watch you got and then they'll just assume you got it like that they'll wait for you to leave follow you home so they follow these guys home to that fashion over house and then they started robbing them they pull out the gun there you know give me everything to strip them but a security guard who was protecting a house like two doors down saw what was going on and started firing off and like and started firing off then it became a shootout outside the house the, the guys got away, got arrested or something, and the security guard wound up getting a mortal injury, like was in the hospital for like weeks, months. That's true. Yeah, he's dumb for just doing that. Like, that ain't shit ain't had nothing to do with you. Why is you busting off over there? Yep. Yep. LA is dangerous. I have to remind myself every time I step outside of my Very home. Very dangerous. When I'm just putting my garbage out, I'm like, yo, stay The wild, dangerous. wild west, bro. LA's dangerous. LA's dangerous. Wild, More wild dangerous west. than New York, because at least New York, there's cameras everywhere. At least New York, there's a camera everywhere. Yeah. You know, you will be avenged. In LA, no. like, the dude might just no. skate off like two, like, like Biggie. Like, Bend the Biggie. corner, man. It's the home of drive-bys. There was You ain't hear about no drive-bys anywhere before you heard about them in LA. Like, that was some LA shit. Motherfuckers been the corner and really murder the motherfuckers and get a, a get away within five seconds. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, so move on to happier things. Millennials apparently do not need financial advice. According to the Wall Street Journal, financial advisors want to woo young customers, but rich millennials are turning them down, saying it's easy to manage 500,000 a million yourself. Help us put it in crypto and in stocks themselves. Fuck you. Boom. Wow. Sorry. Dinosaurs, man. It's time for all the dinosaurs to retire. Boomers. Go on and sit it down. Yeah. Boomers. You better switch it up.
time to retire, Boomer. Time to retire. It's a shame. Figure it out. Yeah. Uh, more financial talk. You know, it's boring, I know, but we'll get to more financial talk. This will, this will, this will affect you. So according to me to know, cons- inflate, uh, consumer prices surged in October at the fastest pace since 1990, according to data from the Labor Department that shows inflation approaching 7% in the U.S. The consumer price index rose 6.2% last month from a year earlier, reflecting higher prices on everything from groceries to gas cars. Inflation is also accelerating on a monthly basis, well above economists' expectations, wiping out the recent increases in wages. President yep. Biden acknowledged the situation was hurting regular Americans and called it a top priority in his administration to reverse the trend. Then it'll, get, then it'll happen eventually. But right now, a lot of people making money. And I think that's more what they're focused on until the, bur- the bubble is about to pop, and then they try to let some air out of it, basically. It's like Patrice O'Neill told that joke, like sneakers went from 40 to 80 and you're like, ah, what the fuck? And then like, all right, we're going to pull it back to 65. And you're like, oh, that's better. But it's still $65 when it was $40. You know what I'm saying? So all that time, somebody made a whole lot of money. And if they were able to get it and get out of it at the highest price point, the fall back down to the you know middle ground or whatever doesn't affect them. And even if they don't, they're not falling all the way back to 40. You know what I'm saying? So they're still making some money. And that's what the world is, man. It, it's trife. I just. All right. If you're not making money above the inflation rate, meaning you're not your money doesn't increase. Right. Let's talk about that. Inflation. Yes. Then you're upside down. Yeah, and then I would I would say it's almost the majority. Well, yeah, because it's the point one percent or whatever. So it's ninety nine percent people are living upside down. How's that sustainable? Let's, let's just follow call it ninety five percent. Let's just call it following Terrence J. Home. That's all I gotta say, man. <laughs> like, they should just tell you they follow Terrence J. Home, bro. Yo, it's like, like yo, shit is upside down. He ain't been popping for seven years, and they were like, yo. I seen you in the McLaren. We following you, dogs. We we know you got something, something. You got something. More you got than more us. than we got. Exactly. So, like, yo, what to do? So, how about okay? Forget about what the government can do for you. What do you, the individual, do? Conundrum. So I had uh, I was with I was with my young bull yesterday. He's a, he's a trainer. He's successful, but he's a young dude, you know, full of I'm going to make it happen. It's kind of I'm like, yo, bro, you should probably listen a little bit. What I got to say and then adjust your plan how you want to do it. But whatever, dude, you got to bless you. Right. Um, and he's like, yo, you know, if everyone was just unprogrammed. It's the programming that says you got to go and work and do this and the new program. And I was like, all right, well, let's extrapolate unprogrammed. Now, I think I snapped everyone. They're all unprogrammed. All right. This bottle of Fiji, bro. It tastes good, man. How do we get this made? And he goes, you know, they make I'm like, all right, so who's getting the water? Is it the owner that's getting the water? So he's going to make the guy getting the water a partner because we're all bosses now. We were on. We're on. We're all aware. Why would I want to work for anyone if I could work for myself? So now I want to run Fiji. Got to create like 80,000 fucking partners. That doesn't make sense. So I'm like, yo, bro, if you got to have Indians in order to be a chief. So in order the conundrum is this. In order to make money, everyone thinks you got to be a chief. Wrong. You got to be a good fucking Indian and find yourself a good fucking chief that knows how to take care of his tribe. Mm-hmm. The chief's got to take care of the tribe. Going back to your L.A., why don't people who could just buy the hearts of every, everyone in L.A., why don't they do that? They should be doing that. Yes, you're right. People in L.A. should know, yo, I don't fuck with rich people because they take care of, of, of every, every, everybody. They hold it down. You know what I mean? All the shit yeah. got sponsored by the Beverly Hills community. Like, imagine the Beverly Hills thing said we sponsor Compton, re, 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 you know, re, re, uh, remixing, you know, changing whatever we're doing. They Madden wouldn't have Florida. no problems. Yeah, we had a gardens to Compton and watch. We're going to add. Uh, don't they get tired of here. seeing? Don't they get tired of seeing new police vehicles? Like, why give a fuck about what the police are driving? You know what I'm saying? That ain't their cars. Yeah. Just give a fuck. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. I want peace. Like, I want to be able to walk around and just chill, not hope that these dickheads can make it in time before I fucking die from some bullshit. Yep. You got to buy the people. In order to buy the people, you got to make sure the people are taken care of. Like, a good mob dude, good mob boss makes sure all his, all his guys are, are That's earned, how every mob dude gets murdered is when the people start suffering, 
Yeah, that's a dude feeling. You're, you're greedy. Like you're being Yo, greedy. Now I'm gonna kill you. You be the boss for forever until somebody's not getting enough. But if everyone's but getting paid, eventuality, and- right? Yep. Like every, it's an eventuality that somebody's not going to be getting enough in the pyramid scheme at some point. So, is it is it just like that's just how it goes? You know what I'm saying, or what? All right, yes, everyone's not going to be getting enough, but. Is everyone going to be getting their fair share into what they put in and to what we were all getting? That's a whole nother cop conversation because right. what you might be putting in, you might be only be doing three things for us and we only might be making $20. So your contribute, your contribution versus what we're making, you're going to get a little, is that enough for you? You might need another job, motherfucker. But if we're all killing it, like that's the Amazon thing, Amazon's worth a trillion something. How come dudes is only making 15 an hour? But how can you kill it if you're not given the opportunity to get the education needed to do so? In which regard? In the regard of how school systems be fucked up. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. It's fucked up in the hood in lots of different ways. (laughs) You know, the school, the idea of schooling needs to be rethought. I understand Mm -hmm. all the basic science, all that great stuff. I'm fine with all that. But why are we not teaching? You'll teach someone sex ed, but you won't teach someone how to get a mortgage. How to file taxes. We're so crazy. How to file yeah, taxes. so crazy. Well, How to file your own taxes. Job interviews. How to actually deal with, 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 with someone as a boss who's not your parent or your teacher. Now someone who's your boss. How do you deal with these? Lo- they don't teach you any. They don't teach you how to be someone. They teach you how to learn more shit and compute shit. Oh, now I know how to learn and I know how to compute and spit shit out. So bring me somewhere. And I, I am a fucking learn. robot. Yeah. I'm a fucking robot. Boom. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But the other end that's uh, or these dumbasses like I'm a free thinker. I don't need school, bro. That's what that's I'm the, saying. It's the program. Shut We're the fuck not up, bro. robots. We're not robots. So that no, model doesn't they work. Deep. Some people go. No, they, the of way course. Left. You know, uh, uh, it's like, no, fool, you need to go to school, bro, because you can't read. Yes. You out here auto correcting everything because you stupid. That's what I'm saying. So you can't leave <laughs> us up to our own devices and you can't treat us like robots. So rethink it. What do you do? Just rethink it, restructure it. You gotta, you gotta be all right. You gotta be all right with some tax for the sake of peace of mind. What's the peace of mind tax? Because right now you want to live in 90210 and feel like shit is sweet and just be like famous and have motherfuckers like your finances in order through your own name and having your credit. You can't even do it like that no more. You can't put your house in your name and be famous in LA right now. You're getting murdered. And, or if you get sued, you don't want someone to like take it. So now your advisors say create an LLC and that LLC is going to be owned by another LLC. And then we'll open up new LLCs for each thing that you do so that you're never really liable. And you can't even depend on that. Like, secured neighborhood shit because they was up in DeMar DeRose's house thinking it was Kylie Jenner's house. You know what I'm what? saying? Like what in he Holy Hills in, in the gated community? Yeah. He no. got a house over there and somebody was in his like daughter's room. You know what I'm saying? And like just wandering around and he like got into a scuffle with him thinking that he was like so on some Kylie Jenner fan shit. It wasn't like a a, a murderer. It was like a fan or some some extra Could millennial type yeah, exactly. That's my point. You know what I'm saying? So on top of all of that randomness, motherfuckers just hiking up the hill. You can't even go to your restaurant and maybe get noticed by a motherfucker and go home safely. Like, why would you live there? It's 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 out of balance. So I dudes be moving to fucking Calabasas and Tarzana. Motherfuckers be moving all of that. Like <laughs> Jamie Foxx lives way the fuck out there on purpose. Snoop, all the shit that Snoop's been targeted, the target he's been wearing on his back all these years. And he's no. never been touched. You know why? Because he lives far, far and travels and travels securely because he understands yeah. how L.A. operates. It's crazy. It's a wild place, man. Thank God you're in wild New place. <laughs> Thank God you're in New York. New York ain't no better. I mean, look, no I mean, nah, I mean look. bro, I was walking up and down Sixth Avenue one night and just on some stroll shit. And I walked past a club that was like on some hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like black people outside, but most people was in the club. Uh-huh. This one dude took notice and was shouting me out. You know what I'm saying? And he was just outside his car or some shit. He was like, yo, like, what's up, man? And I was already past him and shit. And he was just like, then it, it seemed like I offended him just by being out dolo like that. Like, yo, you 
You can't just be walking out here in the streets like that by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like he tried to like gesture towards his hip, like it's real out here. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be walking up and down the street by yourself. Like you're not safe like that, dude, or some shit. But I was way past him by the time he noticed all of that type shit. But I heard what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? Because like, <laughs> if he did want to hit me up, what was I going to do? I would have been stuck in the moment just because <laughs> I want to be free walking at midnight or some shit up and down Sixth Avenue. Like, oh, New York is you know a free place, and you can just go walking around. Nah, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You will run into a headache out here. But when was the last time you said, "Yo, I went to dinner and they followed me home, stopped me in my whatever"? No, and there's too much you, shit going on you, in New York. Thank, for that. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's that. Hey. That's the difference. You get what I mean? Yeah. I'm not worried about a home invasion in New York City. You know how many no, like no, no, no. you know how many scammers I follow on Instagram because I am fucking fascinated with what these people do. And I'm like, bro, if you were in LA, they would have killed you, bro. You would have been dead, 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 dead. Like you're just in your house with a quarter million dollars in an apartment that I could easily trace online somehow like motherfuckers out here with second story apartments who just glassed up and you can just see in their apartment you know what i'm saying just see watch them on tv just chilling nobody's running up in there bro because you want to know why giuliani locked that shit up when quality of life happens he put more Mm -hmm. cops on the street in a small ass place we have more cops per like mad cameras mad cameras all cameraed up think about this in la you might go minutes without seeing a police officer anywhere just drive. I didn't see a cop. I saw like three cops the whole time I was out there. Okay. In New York City, you'll see three cops in two minutes. Every two minutes. Just every two minutes. Just <laughs> That's every, why in, when, in the city. Thank you. Now in the okay. boroughs, okay. they're yeah, suffering. Yeah, in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the Bronx, no, you're in, in Brooklyn. Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, like any of that, like where it's on the outside of the highways, <laughs> like on the other side of the Grand Central, or any of that shit. Bruh. <laughs> while east. Yes, <laughs> the shit is reverting back to the 80s in so many different ways, especially with all this defund talk and, you know, vaccination mandates. And like, God, I feel like there's certain pockets of, you know, terror that's always been terror that are just horrible right now, probably because there's no police in the community. You know what I mean? It's only guerrillas, like stronger survive type shit. Or, or if you're into that or you just living in like Lebanon, basically, like that's that's rough. Yeah, basically like a Nino Brown. Straight they, Beirut. They come Beirut. Yeah, like yeah. Nino Brown said. Yeah. Um, well, hey, you could always try to police your community like Kyle Rittenhouse did. What's up with? So where is the case at? I don't. He tried know, to cry you on the stand. You saw, you saw him crying, sobbing, Forget and about with no it. tears, with no tears. I'm just wondering, like, what all the like supremacists are doing when they see that clip. They're just oh, like, he's smart. That boy's smart. He knows he's gonna get out of it, and then we're gonna kill more n words, hard n words. Mm, interesting. So they're 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 taking the crybaby approach, huh? Interesting. It, 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 a win's if a win a for baby. that community. You know what I yeah. mean? But what, mm. listen, bro, you have children. I've been around enough children. I see my boy. Shout out to Brad. I see when his daughter's like doesn't want to do something, she starts the fake crying, but she ain't really mm-hmm. crying. Ah! You already know. Looking around, <laughs> make sure everyone's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. You see this, and then it's like, all right, we're good. Okay. All right. All okay. Right, all right. Okay. Switch That's what up. he did. He was ah, uh, uh, and then he looked at the jerk. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 yeah. It, it, <laughs> I'm, 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 who cries like that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, my my fucking grandmother passed away. I didn't cry like that. You know what I'm saying? Three grandmothers that passed away. You know what I'm saying? Hospital for one of them. Like, I didn't cry like that. It was like, these were the sweetest people on the planet. Yes. <laughs> and no. this dude's a, oh, this day, baby, no. <laughs> oh, because he don't want to go to jail because he's going to get that ass beat by both sides. The motherfucking like white dudes in jail. He's going to wifey him up. He's going to be a I'm wife. Saying, he might be a hero for a day, but his booty looking soft by night. <laughs> by night. Nice. Clap, clap. <laughs> Hero by day, booty cheeks by night. Kyle Rittenhouse, bro. Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Straight up. That's your legacy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> they treat him like a hero in the yard at night. Yeah, Ooh. Ooh, at night totally different. <laughs> Get that Vaseline ready, buddy. It's about uh, to go down. <laughs> uh, shit, fuck him. Um, let's move on. End of an era. Uh, Brian Williams is leaving NBC Family. Man, why did that take so long? I, I mean, thought that was going to happen a long time ago. After the after the the era, the line. 
Yeah. Like, man, the trajectory that Brian Williams was on was on some Brokaw shit. Like, he was about to be the next Brokaw. And then he just fucked it off. Like, for whatever reason, you know what I mean? That He fucking hosted SNL. You know what I mean? That's a news anchor that worked his way up to hosting Saturday Night Live. Which means he's popular. He was that popular. He was that popular, charismatic, whatever. His daughter's still in the game, ish. Yes, Allison. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. and she's like, good people, but yeah, I, I would have thought that he, you know, would have departed, but he just went to MB- MSNBC. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that it was gonna turn around at some point. Like, let me lay low, and then I will come back out of the shadows and, and hit him again or whatever. But no, just slowly being kind of ushered the door. But you know what's gonna happen, right? I don't know nothing. I'm just going to extrapolate for what I think. His contract was up. They mm-hmm. were like, he was like, all right, I want this money. They were like, we'll give you that money. Mm-hmm. And then he's just like, you know what? You know how many other platforms are out there that would pay to get Brian Williams on their fledgling news, whatever shit they got. I can get my own news network damn near with all the money floating around, all the platforms popping. Fuck it. I'll let my man Byron Allen. Yeah. Fuck it. You know I'm out. Like yeah. it, it, it's fucked up. It's not fucked up because I'm not saying it's fucked up because like he lied and whatever. He worked his way back. He worked his way back. So he had a career. Everyone deserves redemption. Right. But I don't think he's going to be missing money. I don't think he's missing a meal. I think he's going to announce a crazy deal after this. Like when the Kardashians announced it was over for EO, oh, they're ending keeping the Kardashians. Then they announced they have a huge hello, Hulu. Hulu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, Hulu. Yeah, exactly. Man. That's what Brian Williams about to pull off. You know what I mean? That's what anybody can pull off. That's the times. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much competition. It's not the competition across the street. You got competition upstairs. You got a competition downstairs to your left, to your right, across the street as well. Down the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot going on. So, hey, to each his own, you know, whatever. The partnership wasn't working, then the partnership ain't working. Moving on, you know? It's time for me to announce Keenan has a $100 million <laughs> partnership with Amazon. They loot him. They wooed him away from NBC. They gave him the 100 million, bro. It happened, it bro. Right up. It just happened. You know it what I'm saying? Bro. So I appreciate it. And uh, no need to follow me home. Uh, you know what <laughs> I mean? I'm going to take care of the hood. I'm yes. going to take care of the hood. Yes. Yo, Van, Van Jones. Van Jones. That's our money, Van Jones. That's our money. What the fuck? That was our money. Still ain't heard nothing. And he's at every no event. No plans. No. My man. How does he get to these des- events? We don't deserve to, to hear any kind of plans for the community. Community? What community? What are you talking about? The community, bro. We, we, the community. Van like, Jones, I, you know what we I, talk about. I live Van in, Jones, you know what we talk about. I live in Sherman Oaks, bro. My community is, is well taken care of. What do you mean, my community? The community. The community, Van Jones. You know what I'm talking about. That's Van what I'm Jones. Saying. Van Jones is the gif, the gif with uh, Dave Chappelle with the crown on, with all the cash on his chest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Van Jones. How much money do you need in life? I mean, all right. So did, did, did we talk about Dan Bilzerian? We talked about this? What about him? So Dan Bilzerian put out a book and on his, in order to uh, autobiography, and he did all these podcast tours and he did two interviews that were really popular. So I was like, let me see what this guy's talking about. Cause all I see is Instagram pages. Like this guy's living the head life. I told you all that I was the greatest oh, of all time. I didn't even drink a fucking drink, man. I just have water and espresso, bro. It's fucked up. You're just living you, that life, man. I'm a gassy dude, bro. At least he's not coming on my butt. At least he's not coming on my butt. I'm not a farty dude. I'll give right. you that. Like, I'm a right. belching dude, but it ain't right. coming out my asshole. So we good. You know what I'm saying? That's that's better because yes. that's when you're shitting on the world. That's when you're literally shitting on the world. Yeah, yeah. Crop dusting everybody. <laughs> um, um, damn. So Dan Bilzerian said, all right. So Dan Bilzerian, what I got from Dan Bilzerian was this. Beyond him figuring out how he made his money and all that good stuff was the main takeaway was this i had i dated at one point i had 30 women in tow with me at all times and i dated all of them i was dating all of them i had a 350 foot yacht uh you know a a, a huge plane i had uh uh like a 50 million dollar home that i was renting by like a million two million a year with the option to buy I had all the cars you want, all the guns you want, Instagram famous, the biggest parties. I had a 10 some, him and nine women. And he said he slept with the six of them. You couldn't fuck the other three. You just didn't have it physically in him. Caught a heart attack off Viagra. Did everything you could think of. 
And he said, you know what I realized? Pleasure doesn't equate happiness. I assumed pleasure was going to equate happiness. So I did everything. I pushed it so hard to see it, how we could do it. And I wasn't happy. And now I have to rethink all this shit and like how, what's going to make me happy. Like, so when you ask what's enough, it's like, we're constantly testing that. Jeff Bezos is worth 200 billion. You know what I mean? He's still trying to find happiness. His girl's up in Leo's face all over the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, like his girl, and he's just like checking with this man in the world. And she's like, hey, Leo, and what's up? Motherfucking girl that he left his wife for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ready, to, oh. ready to jump on Leo. You know what I mean? Allegedly, from what we saw in the video, that's it. Okay. It ain't alleged. That shit's true, man. I, I, yeah, Leo. He's, he's tweeting back. You know what I mean? Like, oh, Leo, watch out. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, it's like, we don't know what's enough. Like, he, all right. I keep saying, Keenan, you'll have a hundred million bucks in probably three years. I, I, could, I could definitely, yeah, about a hundred million, three years. I don't think it's going to be enough. You think it's enough now, but then once you start adjusting your lifestyle and, and start really broadening the scope of what life could be at that point, because now things open up. Now it's like, damn, like, I, I think I'm going to need more. Like, or you get bored. I don't mm-hmm. think happiness is a destination. I think it's a it's a thing you achieve moment to moment. You know what I mean? It might be tucking your daughter in, and that's mm-hmm. happiness at that moment. But the next moment, it ain't gonna be happy. You gotta figure out a new key to happiness. It ain't just one thing. My girl, my ex girl, said to me is like, I thought I was you were supposed to make me happy, and I realized I have to make myself happy. And I was like, mm-hmm. I, I tried to tell you that years ago. Mm-hmm. So is happiness a dragon that you can never catch? Or is it just a fleeting thing that you just have to recharge? Bingo. Fleeting thing that you have to recharge. People are chasing it like the dragon. People are chasing it like it's a destination. All right. But you read, you don't, maybe you don't realize how often you do catch it. Yes. Because you, you, you don't cherish the times or you don't cherish the times you do catch it. Yo, Cause like, yes, we went to see the movie. I, that was happy for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Gathering up all the people and like just getting your own theater and all of that, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't a lot of money, but the experience was a happy one. You know what I'm saying? To be able to take all the kids and you know what I mean? Like let them to be in there and you know own little area and then the adults in their area and like we watching. You know, I like watching movies on movie screens. I like going to the movies. That's a thing for me. You know what I mean? So that was a happy moment. So it's not like I can hold that happiness at the same height as it was in the moment, basically. And then also, what is happiness? Is happiness right. elation? Oh, that's elation. You know right. what I mean? Is it is it ha- climaxing from sex? Well, no, that's coming. That's climaxing. Mm-hmm. T- to me, happiness is being good with where you're at and being and being good with where you're at. Like, I'm mm-hmm. good right now where I'm at. You get know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's, to me, happiness. When I'm sitting on, on the couch, smoking a joint, watching Narcos, the new season, like, I'm going through them. I'm like, yo, this is really dope. Like, I'm not like, oh, yeah, baby, <laughs> No, but I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? I'm good. And if, like, you could just be good your whole life while mm-hmm. leveling up the goodness of it, like, yo, well, yo, this is even better. Like, but without chasing it. Right. Like, there you go. So I don't know how much money is enough. It might be you might have all the money you need right now and just don't know it. And you might get 300 million and be like, yo, shit's way more complicated than it was when I was just chilling, working, have my money, have my homes. I was good. Mm. Like, I don't know. But, you know, fuck it. We're going to find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Okay? <laughs> and we'll report back to you, yo, and all to let you know, yo, $200 million ain't the, ain't the, ain't the answer. That ain't it. It ain't it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Do running a threesome with Lizzo and her two booty cheeks is not the answer. I know. Not yet. But maybe. It might happen. You never know. Yo, dreams can happen to you if you're young at heart. Just keep believing, man. Just keep believing. I will keep believing. So, yo, on a brighter note, TikTok saving lives. You saw this? Yeah, man. Signals. I like that. Wow. Who would have thought online signals would, would, would save someone's life? I mean, that lets you know how many motherfuckers is really TikToking out there. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. That shit is. It's a thing. It's here to stay, probably. 
I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know if you're on TikTok, but I think you need to be. And I'm going to put the pod on TikTok for sure, because I I'm, okay. I'm just I don't have it downloaded on this phone because I feel like I'm in between phones or whatever. So once I go back to that update that I had before this phone, then I'll have it back on my phone. But I'm actually fine not having it on my phone. No, what you can do is just use it to like tell NBC, yo, get me a bunch of clips from the Keenan show and I'm just going to post them on my TikTok. Because the way the algorithm is set up, it's interesting. That's why people will be like, you'll see people on Instagram and they'll have like 50,000 followers and they'll be like, 3 million followers on subscribers on TikTok. And you're like, how the fuck you got 3 million subscribers on TikTok? You got 28,000 people on Instagram. Fuck out of here, man. You're lying. And it's like, no, because TikTok's algorithm is meant to share. It's meant for you to discover. I know girls, literally, a girl I mess with, all she does, she she doesn't even watch TV. She just goes to TikTok. (laughs) Scrolls videos for an hour, two hours, that's and it. just looking at new videos, following new people, liking new things, mm-hmm. and that's it. Whereas an Instagram, it only shows you who you follow and what they think you like. So if you like two pictures by someone, they're gonna keep showing you fucking pictures by that person from like ten days ago, ten weeks ago. It's like I don't care about that person. What about all the other two thousand people I follow. So TikTok, that hand gesture thing, enough people saw it so that one lady just walked by and saw some girl going. And it was like, <gasps> that's the TikTok shit and saved her. I, I would have like, known. I would have been like, yo, what's this deaf bitch doing right now with this hand shit? Four. You know what four? I'm saying? What is I four? Have, I don't have four. Four for four? four you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendy's? Arby's? Arby's? Wendy's? Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't get it. What you mean? Yeah. I would have been, like, been like, hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> and knowing TikTok saved that young lady's life. That's, that's a good, beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Social media sometimes is a good thing. You know what I mean? But it's the yeah. algorithm that's meant to share. That's why. That's inf- That's interesting. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, speaking of information, Korea is in the future. Seoul said, announced that it'll be the first city government to join the metaverse. The whole city government. Seoul's metropolitan government will develop its own metaverse platform by the end of 2022. By the time it is fully operational in 2026, it will host a variety of public functions, including a virtual mayor's office, as well as spaces serving the business sector, a fintech incubator, and a public investment organization. All in the metaverse. My man, they're about to really just have people at home constantly. Like there's no reason to go into anywhere anymore. Now there's just setting up virtual reality life, like for real. Fuck the Sims. Like this shit is becoming life for real. So you get an apartment and you do everything from your apartment Mm -hmm. and your apartment is going to get smaller and smaller based on population like Japan. You know what I mean? So they just start getting hotels where motherfuckers is renting a bunk bed or some shit. You see, they have those in New York. It's like a rental bed, basically. So you go into the hotel, put your shit in a locker and you have like a bed. Like it looks like you like an enterprise or some shit. No, it's, for it's adults? just it's for anybody. But yeah, it's Youth you hostel. know, yeah, I, it sounds I like one it. of those. It's kind of like that, but it's now like, it's on some like enterprise. Type oh, like shit. it's like an Airbnb type, like a real app and all that versus just a youth hospital. Yeah, it's like a, it's a hotel, but you 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 rent the bed. You know what I'm saying? Like you have a, like a cubby bed space thing. Like it's a, it's like a cubby square that you rent. That's like a youth hostel. So youth hostels are set up all over the, the world. So if like young people, you have to be under the age of like 26, maybe, I think. And if you're yeah. traveling the world, people don't have money. So the people open up youth hostels where basically you get a room and it'll have like four to eight bunk beds in it. They'll yeah, give you a key to I some fucking locker shit. room. Yep. And then, you know, a bathroom that everyone can share and it's nasty as fuck. When I was nasty homeless in New York City and like there would be times where I just didn't want to beg my friends or I might have had extra, some extra change. I would just get the youth hostel spot because it was like $26 for the night. But then I figured out, yo, these dudes are morons. If I just keep the key anytime I need, I can just show up three weeks later and just at three in the morning, show them the key. They're going to let me in because it's just a regular key. It's not an electronic key. It's like a straight key key. And then I just hope I can go into that room and no one's up in that picture or there's a bed open. Real talk. Real talk. Yep, but I guess they turned it into an app like Airbnb. It's a business now. So, yeah, it's like instead of it being a bunch of just open beds, you get squares. So yeah. there's a bed in it and there's room for you to like plug in some shit, but you can't stand up in it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's squat, <laughs> squat room, Indian style sitting room only, basically. And 
yeah, it could be up three or four, you know, notches on the ladder type shit, or you could be down on the ground or whatever. It's wild, yo. It's like the fifth element. Shit. <laughs> yeah, straight up. You, you know what's interesting, though? The opposite of that are going to be people who never leave their homes, like vloggers or something that get mm-hmm. insanely wealthy because all they do is play video games and they have big yeah. personalities and they buy and just turn into jelly and they're just super rich in the house and they can just get a bigger house and just be in the house. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I know I know a bunch of dudes that don't really do much besides like, you know, like hit their ex- exercise bicycle or walk with their girlfriend. Besides that, they're in the home all day making money on a computer all day, all day, all day, vlogging, crypto trading, all that. And just. All day. And in order not to become a blob, they have to get the Peloton. You know what I mean? Right. In order to keep in order to be keep a relationship, they have to go, oh, I have to have dinner with my wife and then walk around the block and then I'll be back on the computer. Yeah, that's life. That's yeah. crazy. Yep. yep. That's crazy. We might be the last of a generation of people who are right, we're the last quote unquote gener- kick it. Yes, kick it, <laughs> but understand technology. We mm-hmm. understand how technology works and how to use it and Airbnb and Uber this mm-hmm. and all that. But we want to see people in real life, bro. Mm-hmm. We want to we want to kick it, smoke some weed, chill. You know what I'm saying? As great as it is to see you on Zoom in New York, I prefer you in person here having laughs. You know, social cues being adjusted to in time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. All yes. that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? How like how can I stare into Cecily's eyes if I'm always just looking into a screen, bro? I gotta it's be not the same. in person, bro. It's not the same. In person, you know what I mean? Yeah. I did not mean that in any derogatory word. I meant that as a fan. I'm a high regarded fan. Okay. I don't want anyone in HR oh, to come back I to think, me 10 years from now or a year I think from we now, know two that. months from now. Okay. <laughs> big fan. Big, big I think fan. we know that. Okay. Shout out to Steve right. Allen. Uh, moving on. Star Trek. I got I got I got I got I got something for you. I think you're gonna dig this one. Star Trek. People don't really think about how ill as a content IP machine. Star Trek was and how ahead of a time its time it was. Think of a spinoff. I mean, Star Wars too. Like any kind of thing that you can spin off nine different directions. That's that's some dope shit. Let's just Star, take Star Trek, Trek has Star Trek, the main the Star movie, Trek, not even the, the reboot. Main Star Trek. That's what I'm saying. The main one, the movies, the TV shows, like. Next generation, some, some, some. Forget like the reboots. Four, How about this? Yeah. Let's let's not let's let's, let's let's do some chronological order. Cap Spin William offs. motherfucking Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and the sister and and and, and, and okay, George Katai and all them uh, Takai. Mm-hmm. They ran on TV for like a decade, two decades, damn near, and had Crazy. ten movies. Ten movies. Ten movies. That's like the Fast and the Furious having the nine movies they have and a TV right. show for a decade and a half. Same That's cast. That's what they should have been doing. Same yeah. cast. Same cast. Crazy. How Same ahead cast. of the time? People were not doing that then. Like, I got a crazy TV show. Who's the main movies. credit? Who's the main credit brain on Star Trek? I don't know. Let, let's Google this. Who invented Star Trek? Like, who's the George Lucas of Star Trek? Star Trek. I bet you don't should know, know these shit. things. I don't know because it's such a it's just like it's so slept on. That was the reason why so Eugene Wesley on. Roddenberry created Star Trek. Eugene Wesley Roddenberry. Roddenberry. So a, did he die producer. young yeah, he's or dead in 1991? He was he died at 70, he was seven years old, he was born in 1921. But I mean, like, what else did he do? I'm not probably nothing outside. No, of no, Trek. I'm sure he did something like here. Okay, um, um, I mean. Yeah, I mean, if you do Star Trek, it's like Dick Wolf. What the fuck else do you got to do besides fucking Star Trek, right? Exactly. Uh, he did Star Trek. He did early stuff as a writer and stuff. And then Star Trek, he pitched Star Trek to MGM, but they didn't really fuck. They weren't really fucking with it. And then he offered someone offered to buy one script from him. He was hired as a producer and was allowed to work on his own projects. Um, that didn't work. And then what happened? Oh, yeah. Boom. Then they did Star Trek. But after that, I don't really think he really did much of anything like he just did a revival. Oh, listen, Star Trek. It's like Lorne, bro. Of course, he did mad other shit. But like it's SNL, baby. Right. (laughs) Anything else is extra. It's just sprinkles. Right. Yeah. Star Trek. He did 15, 20 seasons, 10 movies. Then they revived it, as you said. Six different ways. Yeah. And then did the movie relaunch. Three of them down. And they got a, 
four. Three. Three? First three one new was, ones. First one was the good was the good one. The second one was Khan. The third one was when they yeah. were on that shitty island. All right, yeah, yeah. three with Idris Elba. All right, three. You sure? It's four. Yeah, just three. 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 Yeah, because the third one was really I'm bad. looking for the, the yeah. second one was bad. Yeah, second but one was bad. Too. The first one was on point. That's what a first, the first home one run can get you. I own it. That's what a home run can get you. That's I, I, JJ, I, though. JJ Abrams, folks, is the brain of our time. For him showing us what it looks like perspective wise to watch someone go into light speed, how have we not seen that yet? That's the kind of thinking we need. I never thought about that till you brought it up. Bro, ago. killed me. <coughs> like, yo, that was ill. I, I enjoyed that first Star Trek so much. And I'm not even a Star Trek. I'm a Star Wars person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm Star Trek is cool. Like, I get it. But yep. I'm a bigger Star Wars fan. But that first movie was so on point. It made me a, a, a fan of that movie. For sure. Like, I mentioned that exact movie to a girl the other day. We were arguing about like, we were arguing about like, like, like outer space. And I was like, upside down. I was like, she's like, north, just go north. And I was like, there's no north or south in outer space. She's like, well, yeah, there is. I was like, there's an up and down and a left and a right, but there ain't no north or south. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, all right, the earth spins. If I go to Australia, am I on the south? No, I'm, everything's going to be upside down. Because, you know, when you go on outer space, like in Star Trek, the movie, when they filmed it and you thought the airplane, the, the spaceship was this way, but then they flipped the camera and it turned out it was really that way because we're in space and there's no orientation and she's like huh and i'm like exactly jj abrams he murdered that shit he yeah. mur- i didn't even think of space like like oh there is no upside there's no north or south it's just left right and up and down because there's the centrifugal force of gravity which creates north and south and east and west if i tell you in a spaceship go, go east you're gonna be like what no we're which way is east to the- go east. left <laughs> go right. left 20 degrees go right, right 20 degrees go north go up go down do not go east west north south because there's no polarity but even that kind of thinking is like over my head you know what i'm saying like the compass and why we have a compass is like specific to earth yes. you know what i'm saying it's not specific to just all life which is our problem we think that life on earth is the example for everything the universe you know what i'm saying and like we don't know shit which is my like, problem. With it's most- my problem, too. Like, Neil deGrasse Tyson, I keep talking about this. He was saying, like, space is, the universe is so vast that there's an eventuality that there's a two-dimensional planet out there somewhere or some shit like that, mathematically. Like, there's a there's a possibility for an entire society to be two-dimensional. So it was fucking crazy. It was making my brain hurt listening to it. And they broke it all the way down and like we had all kind of graphics and shit. And he was talking about it. But I'm like, man, what are you talking about, man? Fucking Camaros. That's that's what should be cruising, cruising the universe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but how about this? Let's go deeper. I don't think we can comprehend what beings on other planets look like. Every alien movie you see, it's some guy in a blue skin with some eyes, a mouth, a nose, hands, feet. And it's like, yeah, man, I'm from the planet Zimbab. It's like, bro, you look like a human, bro. There's no way you are other. And you're not going to look like a squid. Take that squid shit out of here. We need to rethink what fucking aliens look like because they might not even have shapes. They might just be like, like. You know, yeah, not like just energy that moves through that can touch things like a ghost damn near. You know what I mean? And we can't see it. You know, when you look, you're watching things in a time delay. You're not even seeing it in real time. It's like a fraction of real time. That's how the vampires move. Vampires move faster than the speed of our eyes. However, (laughs) that works. However, you explain that dumb shit. I never understood. Vampires aren't real, (laughs) Keenan. I know. (laughs) But they say they can move so fast because they're faster than our eyes can compute what we're seeing or some shit like that. I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> you know what I it is? Hated that. It's like uh, when you see uh, rims spin and they're going so fast, it looks like they're going backwards. Yeah. They're really going forward. Helicopter blades, too. Yeah. Yeah. You, it's going you this way, but it's so fast. It looks like it's going that way. because our eyes. Your airplane right engine, if you're sitting on an airplane and you look at the engine, it, it does the same thing. It goes back and forward. That's just fucking weird. Yep. 
we can't our, our mind that's why when you watch how about this that's why i always change tvs and take the auto motion off when i go to someone's house i go to your yes. house like yeah, take and- that auto motion shit off bro because it's smoothed it and it's running at 28 frames to 30 frames per second which makes it look smoother but our eyes can only compute at 24 frames per second that's why anything higher than that doesn't look like a movie yeah it looks hiccupy it looks like, fake. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. yeah, we need our shit at 24 frames per second with a little bit of uh, to make it look normal to us. That's what that's what our eyes compute. Anything higher, it's like it looks like a fucking video game. Like, well, what's too smooth? What's going on mm-hmm. right now? Mm-hmm. Just saying, bro. But Star Trek ahead of its time, still making money. That guy's family's banking still. I bet unless they got robbed. God bless him. I hope that's true. God bless him. Seriously. Uh, speaking of. I don't know how to segue this one. Aaron Rodgers is really, e- really evil, or the Packers are really cheap. Uh, who put this up? <laughs> oh, oh really I cheap. did this one. This is great. Yeah, hey, this is great. <laughs> Hold on. This is great. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, there was a Packers game, and obviously, Aaron Rodgers can't play due to COVID. And these are the tickets that they gave his replacement replacement's parents. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> She's at the top of the back of the stadium, bro. That's cold. They put her at the top of the back of the stadium. Chiefs did that on purpose. That's dirty. How does she that's even walk all the way up there? Wait, wait, wait. You can't explain to your, your husband that you you ain't going to do that. I guess like parents want to watch their child play big games like that. I'd have been like, hey, you know how many dope ass Winnebago's is in that parking lot? They could have been chilling. Bro, stop up. Buy the just buy just buy some buy, buy the seats. Yo, listen, exactly. we have to go away at the top. Buy some fucking seats. Give me three tickets right here. Yeah, word. Stop disrespecting us. Uh, my son's about to start a quarterback. He'll never probably ever start when Aaron Rodgers gets back. And you put me in the back at the top of the stadium. That's disrespectful. And I traveled here to Kansas to Missouri. No one goes to Missouri. Is that because he's black? Is he black? Yeah, he's like half black, I believe. Is it some shit like that? I think Aaron Rodgers is just mischievously evil. And he's like, oh, word? Family's coming? I'm not playing? Same wow. Thing. Yo, give him my seat. What that got to do with you, I Aaron Rodgers? For him. I was just dumb ass for not getting vaxxed. What remember, the fuck? he didn't like him getting drafted. He was like, that was, remember, that was the thing. They drafted oh, him. Yeah, and not like right. a wide receiver or a fucking offensive lineman. They were drafted that's his right. replacement. And he was like, last season, he was like, yo, fuck these soft N words, wow. man. I'm not fucking with these dudes. That's why he didn't come into training camp and all that. But he needed the money and all that. And he had three more years. So, boom. That's what happens when you play for a team and don't got a fucking owner. When the fans own your team, you're fucked. No disrespect. I love Dallas. I, I, I fuck with Dallas. But you're fucked, bro. You need someone you could talk to that ultimately signs all the checks. And you're like, listen, big dog. You're my man. How's it going to run? My, or my lady. Yeah, my lady. Or my my they. My they. You know, or my they. Come on, bro. Come on, they. Let's do this, they. <laughs> Why can't he just play the game? There's so many so it's just mind games, man. People just be fucking with people, man. Let that man play the game. But he should be doing his part. He had it. He had, he just had won the people over and then he just did some dumb shit with his back shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Alternate (laughs) immunization. Come on. You see Shailene Woodley coming to his defense? Yeah, they're starting to both become a little bit annoying. What that shit got to do with you? Like, we don't need you to defend this grown ass man. Shut the fuck up. That's not your business. Like, get back to some fucking acting shit. What the fuck are you commenting on the Green Bay Packers quarterback for? Like, Fuck out here with Don't you got to knock off Hunger Games to make? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. Get on some shit. Like, what did you, we fuck with man? <laughs> that catering to celebrity shit is annoying sometimes because it's like, why, why, why do we need a quote from a person that has nothing to do with football on a football topic just because they're in a relationship? Well, I guess they would they would they would take a picture of uh, of a fake Aaron Rodgers saying it was him, and she's like, "That's not my man. Y'all better stop talking about my man. He got bigger feet than that." I would listen, know. Listen, I'm like, come on, we don't need to know. Who are you doing all that for? Feet. Who are you doing listen, all that for? You know what I'm saying? You're not reaching nobody and changing nobody's mind about wanting to shit on the zeitgeist. That's just what life is. Everybody's trying to be the most clever, taking somebody down in the moment. So if you're a person of the moment. You're going to be open to fucking shots being taken at you. It's hard at the top. When they announced that $100 million deal for Keenan over at Amazon or wherever he's known, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be taking shots at him. 
Go ahead. Take your shots. I, I'm way up here. I can't hear you down there. I can't hear you, baby. And if you see him on the street, no, he got it on the hip, bro. Just know he got it on the hip. <laughs> I don't, but I know better than walking <laughs> down the street now. You know what I'm saying? That was, I drive. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving. I'm looking in my rearview mirror. <laughs> you, you catch Terrence J slipping. You ain't catch the Keenan T slipping. So fuck no, that. you're not catching me slipping. And he ain't at Balboa anyway. He ain't kicking at Boa or Delilah or any of these places. Yo, let's go to Poppy's on a fucking Friday and see what Popeyes. Can hang out. Yeah, yeah, I go to Popeyes because you can just <laughs> pop up and you can't be planned and plotted on at Popeyes. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to the one on La Brea because I got to drive through, not the one on Hollywood because you got to get out the car. Exactly. <laughs> that's when you're out of bounds you're not safe <laughs> <laughs> that's Hilarious. how you know i know everything I'm like we were the papas right. of the brea because they gotta drive through because <laughs> on the Straight hollywood up. one we gotta get out the car and all that you know what i'm saying you danger know it's like the chat cashing joint it ain't really gonna be good for us danger zone danger zone danger zone Just thought about it. moving on fantasy football update we got a half an hour keenan we're gonna run through this even quicker oh uh, we won this week we crushed them they didn't really try but we still destroyed them there you go Hundred and three to four. We destroyed them. We're on a two. Hundred and three to fifty four. Yeah, they they didn't play. Uh, they didn't play their running back or their running back got injured or something like that. And then yeah, they got crushed. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. It's okay. Ate God bless them. God bless God them. Bless but them. we have a two game winning streak right now. We nice. Two game winning streak. We're five and four. I'd rather we're above five hundred. We're above five hundred. Only problem I'm worried about is we lost Derrick Henry last week, which is the number one running back in the NFL. That's just great. Um, and both our quarterbacks are playing like shit right now. You know, the greatest quarter, two of the greatest quarterbacks out. Mm. Mahomes and Murray. Murray's injured, and Mahomes is just like fucking blowing it. They about to pick up OD, OD Beckham. I think the Bucks are going to get him. The Bucks are gonna I, get him. I can't believe you just brought that up. I was here yesterday. The Tampa Re- Bay Buccaneers are gonna get another bit. weapon. They no, can't I, do that with Antonio yes, Brown because I, I, that's what I thought. That I, I, he goes, he goes, he got released, and I said, "Who oh, Antonio Buc- Brown got released?" No, 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 no. he got no. Uh, they said ODB got OD, OBJ got released, right? And I said, "Oh, the Bucks are gonna get him." And I started screaming, "Oh, the Bucks are gonna get him!" And he's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Listen, if I'm Odell Beckham Jr., right? A, they say I can't win. I'm toxic, and I'm not as good as they say I am." I need to go somewhere I can guaranteed win and guarantee get a good look. There's only two teams. There's only one team that I can guarantee that right now, and it's Tom Brady. So Tom Brady is the only man to go to, to, to literally go out of retirement, take Gronk out of CTE protocol, and then go re- take Antonio Brown twice out of issues, move him in, and then win the chip first year. You ain't heard a peep from AB since, by the way. Still just out here balling. So I'm OBJ. All I need is a one, two year deal. I'll even sign for less money because I make I have made a bunch of money. I need a chip and I need to look great. No one guarantees me that but Tom Brady in the box. Name another team that can guarantee me that, please. Rams? No. No. 49ers? No. Cardinals? No. Uh, Patriots? No. Uh, Falcons? Hell no. Uh, Texans? Saints, Saints, Bills, all that shit they was talking. Saints, Bills? Nope. They were talking about Baltimore. Baltimore, maybe. Fuck no. Fuck Who's no, gonna says. Tom Brady's gonna win another chip? <laughs> you go to play with Tom Brady, bro. Like, I'm, if I'm Tom Brady, I already called him. I already sent the jet for him. <laughs> I already did what I had to do because if I'm Tom Brady, I want more weapons. I'm LeBroning up right now. I can get him. I'm for a going million. Baltimore. Mm. Mar Jackson OB. You know what? It sounds sexy. It but sounds sexy, you're not gonna but win. it's not going to You're not going to win. You're not going to win. And then you're back in another situation where OBJ can't win. You know, don't forget, you need to shake that. Like, you need to get a chip, bro. Like, you need to get a chip. AB went from the most toxic sports asset in the world to a Super Bowl champion and not hearing a peep from him, him in 12 months through Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Just saying. And OBJ has an ego. Like, he wants to be good, but he's been bad in the Browns for the last two years now. Like, not mm-hmm. good. So if he's going to have to spread the catches with Evans and Godwin and Brown and Rock. Cool. Are you what, Are you going to win? Are you going to be next to these guys? Are you going to be on the new dream team? The best right. wide receiving core of all time? Right. got to get on that, bro. Wow. That's my theory. That's what I would do. If he does anything, anything to the contrary. What you want to put on it? I mean, my pride, I'm broke, bro. Like, <laughs> my, my, I got pride. my pride on it. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, $20. All right, $20. I can $20. do 
Twenty dollars, boom. Twenty bucks. So it, I, I, I say Baltimore, field. but I oh, say Baltimore. And if he doesn't go to either one, then we we, we good. Then, yeah, we yeah, good. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you got Baltimore. Mm-hmm. I got the box. You go to Baltimore. He a moron. Fuck, you want to go there, bro? It's cold. He's bro. A moron. The more you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win. Tom Brady's gonna is gonna find a way at least to be in the championship game again. Yeah. They got the defense. They got the they got the weapons. They got the coach who knows how to use the weapons. Baltimore is the Cleveland Browns. That's the original Cleveland Browns. So why would you go there? <laughs> why Can would I change you be a better quarterback? Can I change my pick? <laughs> no, you're done. Can I change my pick to Tampa? <laughs> the more you think about Tampa, you're like, damn, I just want to get my, home, said, just, my, yeah, my just, hometown. First of all, they gave hate away me $20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it all. I'm going to buy Chili's cards, $1 Chili's cards for everybody, and I'm going to spend more money mailing them than the value of the Chili's card. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to fantasy. This week, we're starting Patrick Mahomes. We got Aaron Jones in. Aaron Jones is going to have a good week. Aaron, our running backs that we have are going to be good because A, Aaron Rodgers is out, so they're going to do quick screen passes to Jones. They don't. They he might be long. playing. He might be back. If he passes his shit on Saturday, he might be playing. I, let's hope not, because we need Jones to be overly asset used. We don't he want to do long passes. We want we want the bullshit love to do screen passes and handoffs to Jones and our guy to hog up the ball on the TVs. Please, okay. Aaron Rodgers, just not play this Sunday. Okay. Cordell Patterson. Now that Ridley took out. Come on, baby. He's Is the Ridley number one hurt? option. No, Ridley's, Ridley's mental, mental health. He retired. What the fuck is that? He retired. Calvin Ridley retired? Calvin, yeah, brother. I thought you knew this. Calvin Ridley retired for due to Where mental issues. Where the fuck issues. have I been, guy? Yeah, he said, yo, due to mental issues, I need mental time. I'm retiring from football. Hopefully, I can be back one day. But yeah, I got to take some time for myself. He retired. That was a... What? He was catching everything. And then everyone thought Gage was going to be the next up and and uh, someone else. And then it's just always been Cordell Patterson. He's been... He's more of a wide receiver than running back. He's a beast. He's huge. Why we picked him he's up. like Derrick Henry big. That's why we picked him up. So we got wow. the number seven and eight running backs. So I he's think about they're to gonna quickly be number three year. and four. Yeah. Bingo. I think they're going to do very good this week for us. Justin Jefferson, we have him at wide receiver. We have Renfro at wide receiver. That's not bad because A, we benefited. See, damn, we always be benefiting from people's downfalls. I feel bad. Um, yeah. Ruggs, the number one wide receiver on the Raiders got injured, and then our guy right. Renfro came in and he had he balled the fuck out. And he's right. going to keep balling out. Um, we got Schultz, number six, uh, tight end, number five, tight end, playing for Dallas. He should do well as well. And mm-hmm. Beasley, we got Beasley at mm-hmm. flex. Beasley's been balling with Josh Allen for some yeah, reason. Yeah, man. They, I mean, they got a connection. You know what I'm saying? They, I think they hang out a lot. So there you oh, go. So we got that. Cardinals, number two defense in the league. Got them up. And we got Bass, our kicker for the Buffalo Bills, number three kicker in the league. So... We're projected to win by nine points this week. Uh, we got a plus nine one, but anything can happen, bro. Anything no can doubt. happen. Any given Sunday. Shout out to Al Pacino. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Fox. Actually cool swinging J. on LL Cool J. Yeah, it were. He actually back. swung on him. <laughs> yeah. Swing back. So as it stands real quickly, we are at the top of the West at a five and four record with a 556 win percentage. Our PF is 1,083. The only person with a higher PF than us is the person who's at the top of the East, which is Team McCoy, who's seven and two. We face them at the end of the year. That's going to be a person we will probably want to play in the championships against. Is there a robot? I don't even know. This, this motherfucker is just, they're, they're, his players are just balling. And he has 1,162 PF, but his PA is really low. So people aren't balling against him. We, everyone when we play just damn near balls against us. So yeah. it is what it is. We're going to survive. We're going to make the best out of this. We're getting to the championships. Unfortunately, we're predicted to go to land at four final standing projections. The AI has us at four. I'm going to prove that dumb robot wrong. So fuck that robot. Fuck that robot. Fuck we that going. robot. Fuck we that going robot. In. Exactly. Um, I think I got one trailer for us to watch and we're out of here. Let's find out what this is all about. <laughs> And we shall get out of here. I hate YouTube commercials. <laughs> I really do. YouTube could. I won't. I was going to say something stupid, but yeah, I can't go <laughs> back here. All right. All right. Let's see what this commercial is about, Keaton. Apex. Oh. Apex. Bruce Willis movie. Thomas Ernest Malone. X Cop. Convicted of murder in a burglary gone wrong. 
Apex is quite simple. They're hunters. You are the prey. Oh shit, it's like the Ice-T movie. What's the price? Oh, I was I just about to say, hunters. didn't they see the Ice-T movie? Win and I can guarantee your freedom. Ice-T in the future. But it's Ice-T ice, ice -T gets so light skinned he turns to Bruce Willis in the future. My good right. hunters, <laughs> welcome. It's going to be a real challenge. Neil McDonald. Where the hell is that? Oh my god. Can we get a refund if we kill this guy within an oh, hour? Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> they shot this in Atlanta. Better than good. I'm baking and eggs on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice jacket. I dead yeah. more times than most Navy seals. Simply put, the universe just can't seem to kill him. Oh, he's unkillable. That's why they're hunting him. Men like that never should have come to a place like this. Let's remind Malone who is the hunter. Oh shit, he's smoking prey. cigars out there because he's so comfortable. Anyway, Neil McDonough. That's all I do. Versus that is Bruce so Willis. so bad. I won't this is be horrible. Happy. Bring me the head of Thomas Malone! Give him my head! Your only logical choice is to beg. What just happened? Beg me to let you live. There's a flamethrower versus a grenade launcher? Even right. better. This is the worst. Yo, what the fuck is this shit? The fuck is that shit? Oh, bro, see, this is that's this is a real movie that got real money put into it. That yeah, is so is, fucking crazy. This is what we be talking about when we talk about like, yo, bro, you don't be acting your whole life because then you wind up in movies like that that fucks your shit up, bro. You know, you need mm. that four to six, four to eight million that they got for you. You know what I'm saying? Because they can sell it internationally, and you're like, damn, bro, eight million. You know what I'm saying? I can use that. I got this new chick, Monaco, and then you're an apex. Crazy. And you're an Apex, bro. But hey, for Apex, I will, for 8 million, I will go into Apex straight the fuck up. So, um, you know, guys, it's been a light, lighthearted uh, episode, if you already know, you know. Good conversation, though, man. I enjoyed it. I yeah. feel like I learned a lot, man. We went down a real financial rabbit hole. And then also, the Star Trek shit took us in a direction. I thought that was a good combo. I enjoyed that. People sleep on Star Trek. I was just, I was sitting in the crib smoking, bro. Literally, I think Mike was saying actually. And I was like, yo, Star Trek. <laughs> Nothing, Star Trek wasn't even on TV. I was just like, yo, Star Trek slept on, bro. How the fuck you got all them TV shows with the same cast, not the spinoffs. Then you do 10 movies. Cause I own, I got all 10 of the movies. I was like, how they did 10 movies with the same cast that they did a TV show with? Who did that before? Who I wasn't even thinking before. of the remixes and reduxes and the next generation. and Because all generation. those movies, I think, could have been episodes, which is why Dick Wolf was never like, we don't need no Law and Order movie. We just keep making episodes. Like, why the fuck would we do a movie? Basically, like they yeah. just made one at two hour episodes. Khan, Wrath of But some of those are classic. Wrath of Khan. The, the, I think when they went to Earth and they got the whales and the whale sounds. Like, these are classic the Star Trek movies. If the Sopranos kept running, it might have saved Gandolfini's life. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're surrounded by people when you're working. There's only so much fucking off you can really do. If you're smart and you have something that's winning like that, like how Marvel kind of has something like that's winning. Yeah. You got to do what Marvel's doing in a way, which is like find out a way to make TV shows out of these characters and just keep them working for you perpetually forever. Keep everybody just, busy. That's it. You you go from the movie to the TV show, TV show to the movie. We keep upping your checks. That's it. Just stay here for five to 10 years, big dog. And because the way my man is doing that special agent, whatever the fuck, and how he slid into that role, you know, in his latter years in life, who's, who? who's the special agent, uh, What's his name? You know, he's the guy in the suit, basically, that keeps popping up. And he works oh, yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy by the one they killed in Avengers 1. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah exactly. You Philip know, Colson, Agent Colson. Right, right, right. So, like, the way he keeps popping up and everything. And, you know, he had a career. Like, he was in a lot of shit. He was on TV that show. Exactly. They killed him and resurrected him for a TV show. Exactly. So, like, yeah, that kind of shit. You, you're lucky enough to get into a world like that. It, it's, it's advantageous to... I think just keeping people healthy. You know what I mean? That's what they say about retirement kills people faster than anything than old age. Probably. You know what I'm saying? It's just keeping people busy and wanting to live and a purpose. To, yeah. A purpose. You need a purpose. Except the funniest thing is, bro, I'd be worried about my mom because she like just likes to sit and just watch TV all day. Like she loves mm -hmm. TV. That's her thing. Right. I'd be like, damn, mm -hmm. you know, my mom. Blah, blah, blah. And I remember. That is her purpose. She loves content. That's her purpose. She, she loves, loves content. content. She loves content, English content, mysteries, Marvel. She and it's 
so much of it. I'm like, you need to watch this. She's like, I have my list. I'll get right. there. And I'm like, this is, I'm like, oh, say no more. I got it. You're just like me on the couch with the joint watching Narcos. We good. I don't need to be frolicking to say, hey, this is life. I frolicked in the garden. Like I went to the garden when I was a kid. That's just overrated. I got bit by a bee. We good. I'm right if here. It on doesn't Narcos. bring you happiness. It's just memories of time spent. And if you don't spend your time being happy, then what are you really doing? Gangsta, that's poetry right there. That's Gangsta, that's poetry words. right there. That's it. I can't. We end, on, we end right there. He's Keenan Thompson. Yeah, I'm Tony Morose. As you already know, I can't. This mic drop. Like, like literally. Mic bang, drop. Bang. That's it. Bang, bang. That's it. <laughs> Have a good day, my friend. I hit you later. You too. Peace. <laughs>